We're going to go to a lot of different cities. We're going to Chicago, Cleveland, Nashville, Austin, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York. So people get to come see the movie and then come check out some of the music from the movie afterwards. We're going to play at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which it's kind of like art imitating life or life imitating art or something that Dewey Cox is actually... Is he going to be inducted? No. He should be inducted. Maybe once they see him play, they'll induct him. I hope people just have a good time. They'll certainly get their money's worth since they're free shows. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I hope people just come away having a good laugh and enjoy, enjoying some good music and coming out for a little evening with us. I haven't played this music in quite a while, actually. I made another movie since we did Walk Hard, so this is a really great chance to get back to it and have some fun and... I don't know, it's, this beats like doing a junket. In terms of prom promoting a movie, this is a lot more fun. It's just like a big party. So we get to throw like eight parties across the country for fans of the movie. That was one of my favorite things about making the movie is uh, actually getting to perform for crowds because we had these whole big theaters, all these different places where we shot. And uh, we had many, many enthusiastic extras out there cheering me on. It started with Judd and I writing the script, and we're both uh, pretty serious uh, rock fanboy geeks. And um, John, as it turns out, is, uh, is much the same way, except he's actually a talented musician. And um, so he hopped right on, and, was, and you know, he's got this monster voice. Um, and we all have sort of overlapping tastes, like not exactly the same, but enough common reference to where, you know, that was... We were sort of starting from that place, really loving music. Judd and I uh, never thought of anyone else because it's very difficult to find um, someone who can act like this, who can also sing like this. John just has this monster uh, voice, and um, we, we were writing it for, for John. The music is pretty cool, and it's great to you know celebrate the music simultaneously, and I think, you know, uh, the music is one of the things we've got going for us that we're really excited about. Um, so it's you know it's great to to get John out there singing the songs and let people uh, you know hear him. When Cox Across America rolls into your town, you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Dewey Cox is a uh, mythically unpredictable performer, and uh, you kind of just have to be there to see. Well, uh, Dewey Cox has come out of retirement, and uh, he's doing a big show tonight at the Roxy, which we've uh, renamed the Coxy. And then he's going to tour America, and it's going to culminate in a big performance at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's really fun to hear the music separate from the movie, because the songs are really good. They're way better than they should be, or have any right to be. And John is actually a great live performer, and the band, which is led by Mike Viola, who wrote a lot of the songs for the movie, uh, it really rocks, and it's uh, strangely entertaining. Well, we knew uh, we needed a, a brilliant actor who was hilarious and also could sing like an angel. And uh, who else can do that but uh, John C. Riley? So we started begging him, even before we wrote the script, while we were outlining, we were trying to convince him to take part in this. Well, I believe that all the shows are free. Uh, they're kind of like promotions. A lot of them tied into screenings of the movie. And it's just an opportunity for people to see what we're up to and see how great uh, the band is and the music is. You don't like the way I'm living, buddy, why don't you shut up? Oh, when you feel the ground is shaking beneath your feet, that's you truly walking down.